Hello, I'm Robert with Beaver Rocket. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how you can add overlay image patterns to your background images, your hero images, for a really cool effect. So let's get started. So I have a blank page here. I'm in Beaver Builder, and I'm going to start by adding a one column row. I'll set this row to have full width and I'm also going to for background type I'm going to give it a photo. I'm going to use this photo here of a nice sports car and I'm also going to add a CSS class of row dash W actually I have it under here row dash W dash pattern dash overlay and that's for row with pattern overlay and I'll go ahead and save that And I'm also going to add a heading module here. And I'm going to call this Super Fast Websites. With Beaver Builder. Okay, with Beaver Builder. Okay, and I'm going to style this. I'm going to center it. I'm going to give it H1 tag. And I'm also going to give it a custom font size I'm going to give it 48 that's nice so I'll save that and you can see that part of the image here is really hard to see this first word here super gets lost in the the white background image the white parts of the background image and that's a common problem with hero images or any image that you overlay text with so we'll be looking at creative ways for dealing with that and making the text more legible so next I'm going to add a class name to the heading module and also some padding to the column that it's contained in so I'm going to give this class name of heading dash w dash shadow heading with shadow is what that stands for I'm going to save that and now for the column that the heading is contained in I'm going to add some padding here I'm going to add a top padding of 200 and a bottom padding of 200 as well um, going to bring that down to 150 on each one okay save this so now we'll deal with this heading text that's overlaid our image and use creative ways to make the text stand out one way is to change the, the text color but then you'll have the same problem with the dark areas of the image unless you're using a, a color so you could just go in and change the color of your text
and that's one way that you can make it stand out sometimes you don't want to change the text color so we'll go back to the white so there it is it's white again so the first thing we can do is use a built-in feature of Beaver Builder and that's in the row settings and here under style in the style tab we have background overlay so I can choose black for example and you can see that the text stands out a lot better but the background image has gotten a lot darker and that may not be acceptable to you so you can try to reduce the opacity for example 10 percent and that's still a little bit hard to read in certain areas around here so let's try 20 percent and that's not too bad let's take a look at that So we have here, and that's better, but it can still be improved quite a bit. We had given our heading module a class name of heading w shadow, so we'll use that to create some CSS for it to help the letters really stand out. So I'll go into Tools, Layout Settings, and here in our Live CSS Editor. I'm going to place a dot, paste in our CSS class name that we gave to our heading, space, bracket, enter, and you see the live CSS editor has automatically added our bottom bracket, and I want to add a text shadow, and a cool feature about the new Beaver Builder layout settings live CSS editor is as soon as you start typing your CSS property it gives you a lot of hints here of what it is you might be trying to place into your CSS code and you can use your arrow key to scroll up and down these to select the one that you're wanting to use and for me here I want to use the text shadow and once you highlight that just hit enter and I'm going to use two pixels to the right, two pixels down. I'm going to blur the shadow by two pixels. And I'm going to use a black color for the shadow, which is pound. And one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. I can use three if I want. I always put in the full six hex values. So there you go, and you can see that the text is really popping out now. It's really improved the legibility of the heading text. And the background is its not too dark. It's looking really good, I think. So now we'll explore some other creative ways in making the heading text stand out from the background image. I'll show you a nice way that you can control the opacity values of our image overlay with our tools layout settings here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go back into the row settings and I'm going to set this value down for the background overlay I'm going to set the opacity down to zero. So it's as if though you have no overlay at all. The reason I've done this is because I'm going to add a pattern overlay to the background image here. So the reason I've done this is because without a pattern overlay applied to our row settings, I don't have a CSS class to use to apply a pattern overlay image or CSS to the background image. 
So by doing this and setting our opacity value to zero, Beaver Builder adds the necessary CSS class to our row to add pattern overlays. I'll go ahead and save this. Now go into our layout settings here, into our live CSS editor, and I have some code here prepared. And so what this is here is the CSS class name that I had given to our role here. And it also has this CSS class here. So with this CSS code here, I can control the overlay settings from here instead of inside the row settings panel. So you can see here that I have an RGBA color value here, RGB alpha. So these last two numbers here control the opacity value. And you can see here, I'll bring that down to 0 0.5, which is 50%. And you can see it's gotten darker. And I can control it now from inside the layout settings very nicely. 70%. But what I'm going to do is place the color value here with a pattern overlay. So what I'll do now is replace this background color overlay with an image. So I'll paste this code in here. I'll replace it with this code here. And in my media library, I uploaded this tiny image. It's a dot pattern to overlay on our image. So I'll copy the URL from here copy it to my clipboard, go back to my page, I'm going to paste it in right here. And now I have these this really nice little dot overlay pattern over our image, so I'll save that. And I'll go ahead and publish the changes. And you can see it here. And our image really is starting to look nice and the letters on top of it really pop and that's a really cool effect there. But sometimes our images and our overlay pattern have what is known as a Morier effect where it looks like there's uh, some flashing or something. So sometimes you might have to use a, a little bit larger dot pattern. But we're going to go ahead and replace this with some really cool CSS. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how I scroll? It kind of, you see it flashing a little bit. And it all depends on what image you're using. And one way to remedy that is to use a little bit larger pattern. But I'm going to use a CSS overlay pattern that's really cool. So if you do a Google search for website dot patterns, there's a lot of websites that have them available free. And they don't have to be dots. They can be diagonal lines or little squares, or little stars, whatever suits your needs for your website design. But there's also some cool CSS patterns. This is a really great website here, Patternify. And you can actually go in and design your own overlay patterns. And they have some available here. And you can see what they look like here to the right by clicking on the different patterns down here below. You can see the different patterns here. And you can download these as a ping image, a repeatable ping image, seamless ping image, or actual CSS code. So that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to paste in this CSS code here. So I'm going to copy the CSS code. And I'm going back to our web page. I'm going back into the Beaver Page Builder and up here in our layout settings right here I'm going to replace this code right here the URL for the image with the CSS 
Okay. I guess it didn't copy to my clipboard, so I'll go back. So I'll just do it manually by highlighting it here. Copy. And Control V. So now you can see that it's completely changed. It's it's overlaid this CSS pattern here. And we'll go ahead and save that. Publish the changes and have a look at it. So it doesn't have to be a static image in the back. You can use parallax or video and it really gives a fantastic effect. This is another website I did here and with a video in the background and the dot overlay pattern. And also I added an SVG divider. I'm adding a tutorial for that as well. The video might look a little bit choppy on the screen capture, but if you go to the website URL, it looks really nice and smooth. So let's go ahead and try a different setting here on our page inside Beaver Builder. So what I'll do is I'll set this background photo to fixed instead of scroll. So right here, to fixed and now when you scroll the image stays put in the back and the pattern and the overlay text scroll up and down so that's a really cool effect right there and I also have some CSS that allows you to adjust the background position of your image to precisely position it where you would like so let's go into our layout settings so in our layout settings in our CSS tab I'll make some room for our new code here and I'll paste this code I have ready here and I'm going to use replace this second center value here with some a pixel value so for example if I put in 100 px you can see that I'm able to control the uh, top bottom position of the image in the back so I can get my image precisely where I want it on my background here. So let's try minus 10. I would like it a little bit higher, minus 50. So now, as I scroll up, I'll save that. And now as I scroll up, I can have my image exactly where I want it positioned on the row. So I'll go ahead and adjust that just a bit. And let's put 50. No, let's put in minus 100. So now when I scroll up, pretty cool. So there you have it. Once again, I'm Robert with Beaver Rocket. I'm a professional Beaver Builder WordPress website designer. I would like to work with you on your next website project. I'm available for hire. My contact information is available on my website, beaverrocket.com. And thank you for watching this video.